A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 7th August. On the front page you have Lok Sabha endorses center's decision on Kashmir. So, President's declaration ending special status under Article 370 has been notified in a gazette and the bill for this has been approved by Rajya Sabha as well as Lok Sabha. Now. So, you can see the resolution and the bills were approved. So, this is there. Then you can see her revocation of Article 370. On this, uh, Imran Khan has warned more violence, the Pakistan Prime Minister. And this is how Kashmir Valley has stayed cut off for second consecutive day. On page 4, you have National Green Tribunal panel told to submit report on unscientific handling of plastic. So, National Green Tribunal has directed an appointed oversight committee to submit the final report on unscientific handling of plastic by October 31. So, here you can see this uh, oversight committee which is headed by Justice Pratibha Rani, former judge of Delhi High Court, has to furnish the details. And these directions came when NGT was dealing with the matter pertaining to unregulated handling of plastic, like burning of plastic which causes air pollution. So, this is in context of Delhi. On page 5 you have museum on PMs likely to be ready by March 2021. So, a museum on Prime Ministers of India is being set up on the premises of Jawaharlal Nehru's erstwhile residence, Teen Murthy Estate. So, this will be ready by March 2021 is what the Union Culture Ministry has stated. The foundation stone for this mu museum was laid in October 2018 by then Culture Minister Mahesh Sharma. Then this is raising time limit for abortion under study. So, Centre has informed the Delhi High Court that it has initiated the process for an interministerial consultation on raising the gestational period for terminating pregnancy in case of health risk to the mother or fetus. So, these provisions are there under the Medical Termination of Pregnancy Act 1971. So, here discussions are going on The to have the cap which is there on abortion. So, this should be raised from current 20 weeks to 24 to 26 weeks. On page 7 you have Maharashtra Karnataka trade charges over flood waters. So, both the state governments they are trading charges that alleging that uh, you know management of flood waters by the other state has not been proper. Karnataka says that Maharashtra had released water from Koina Reservoir and this is leading to alarming situations in Belgavi and Vijayapura and other Kalburgi districts of Karnataka. So, you can see Maharashtra's dam are set to be at 50% of the capacity. So, this is a good uh, situation for drought hit region. So, that is there. On page 8 you have, don't pack toys and food together. So, this is Food Safety and Standards Authority of India which, which has issued an advisory asking all states and union territories to discourage the practice of packing of toys, gifts with food products for infants and small children because there are chances of contamination and risk of accidental ingestion too. So, manufacturers, they attract sales by adding small toys or gifts, you know, inside the food packets. Some even have tattoo stickers inside. So, this is an advisory against this practice by FSSAI. Then on page 9 you have Consumer Protection Bill gets Rajya Sabha green light. So, this is Consumer Protection Bill 2019 that has been passed by Rajya Sabha. It will replace the Consumer Protection Act of 1986. It calls for establishment of authorities for timely and effective administration and settlement of consumer disputes. Then this is government offers to send four bills for scrutiny. So, government has proposed that it will send four pieces of legislation to standing committee. Opposition had demanded all the bills like RT amendment bill, triple the lock bill, unlawful activities, prevention amendment bill to be sent to select committee. But they, with their motions failed and they have, these bills have been passed. Now, government says that it is willing to send these bills to standing committee like DNA based technology use and regulation bill, surrogacy regulation bill, occupational safety, health and working conditions of 
port bill and the dam safety bill. So now government says there is no urgency to clear these bills. What it wanted to clear urgently it has already done. So for these now you can see the government says that we are ready to refer these bills to select committee. Also, they have offered the Transgender Persons Protection of Rights Bill that that can also be offered to that can also be referred to Select Committee, the Parliamentary Standing Committees, for further scrutiny and then be passed by the Houses. Then on the editorial page, you have Great Expectations. So this is regarding commercial surrogacy. So commercial surrogacy is not allowed under the new bill surrogacy regulation bill of 2019 so this editorial says that ending commercial surrogacy will not be possible without regulating art clinics so first regulation is required and then surrogacy can be commercial surrogacy can be banned then this is open obsession so this is regarding the gun culture in usa so regulations for this have not been uh, mm -hmm. modified and the hate crimes in USA show this open obsession and gun culture of USA. Then the lead article is on Kashmir again. It says the center is riding roughshod over Kashmiri public opinion already beset with this, that dissatisfaction. And this is regarding how Trump seeks a second term to invest as a president. So the Trump strategy seems to focus on internal process internal progress and in pursuit of peace abroad in unconventional ways. So this is what he is banking on to make a pitch for the second term. Then on open page you have the new facts on the ground for Kashmir. So this says that India cannot claim the moral high ground anymore that it has kept Jammu Kashmir is integrity intact. So we have revoked article 370 now which is a critique on that. And this is hard risks for India's fast track courts. So this article says that many courts, such fast track courts are understaffed and under resourced. So then such fast track courts become just for the namesake. Recently we have seen how the government has also informed in the Rajya Sabha that it proposes to set up 1023 fast track courts to kill, uh, to clear POXO cases, cases under the POXO Act. Even Supreme Court in a Sumomoto petition has issued directions that district courts should be this as that fast track court should be established in all districts with more than 100 cases pending under POXO. So, but then the fast track courts need to be staffed well and have resources, but that is not the case. On page 12, you have petition filed in Supreme Court against center's notification on Jammu and Kashmir. So, this is a petition filed by an advocate who says that the order of 2019 on constitution application to Jammu and Kashmir which has amended article 370 of the Indian constitution and scrapped the 65 year old predecessor of constitution application of Jammu and Kashmir order of 1954 is unconstitutional, illegal and arbitrary. Then on page 13 you have this deep coverage on Sushma Swaraj who died yesterday due to heart attack. On page 14, the international page, you have Trump freezes all Venezuelan government assets in US. So, President US President Donald Trump says that he is considering a quarantine of the South American nation. So, all Venezuelan government assets have been frozen, which will sharply escalate economic and diplomatic pressure campaign to remove the socialist leader of Venezuela, Nicolas Maduro, from power. So, the opposition leader has been supported by Western countries, but uh, Mr. Maduro has refused to step down and the tensions, political tensions continue and USA is further putting pressure on Maduro government. Then below you have North Korea threatens more launches after fourth test. So, US and South Korea are having military drill being conducted which has not been uh, liked by North Korea and it, it has fire its fourth pair of projectiles and uh, it says that it will have more launches too now. So, these uh, vehicles would be, uh, missiles would be test fired. And even China is not liking US plan for having missiles stationed in Asia. 
so here you can see us defense secretary said he was in favor of placing ground launched intermediate range missiles in the region possibly within months so we have seen already us recently pulled out of intermediate range nuclear forces treaty of 1987 and now it has plans to have these uh, ground launched nuclear and conventional ballistic and cruise missiles with range of 500 to 5000 kilometers which were banned under the treaty Inter uh, intermediate range nuclear forces treaty which will now be uh, which now can be used by us and us talking of having such ground launched uh, missiles in the region in asia is a cause of concern for china then on business page here you have this coverage on dhfl d1 housing finance corporation which uh, plans to borrow 1000 crores to 1200 crores from banks every month as part of its proposed resolution plan but then uh, this may fall flat because uh, lenders who make extend fresh loans yeah, they can do this only after a new promoter comes in and this is niif to get up to 2 billion dollars from australian super ontario teachers so this is niif national investment in infrastructure fund of india so this is used as a fund of funds for infrastructure so here you can see uh, uh, here we will get funding from australian super and other entities to the tune of 2 billion dollars then on page 17 you have nscl aastha mein pay 100 crore dues so this is regarding national spot exchange limited so here a 5574 crore settlement crisis which has uh, come to light 6 years ago could finally see some money being recovered the two accused entities have filed a proposal to pay 100 crore to settle the outstanding dues so these are aastha mimet india and jagannath projects both belong to aastha group this is regarding this issue so these are the important headlines for detailed coverage of current affairs you can visit our website asha.com thank you